Wild guns to make my bullets sing groovy. So this is Wild Guns Reloaded, and it's kind of an older game. That's been remade. Yeah, it's got two new characters from what we can tell, and like, game is still hard as nails, and we got to pretty much past the, the first, first mini boss. I first screen, not the first levels. First. Yeah. Well, there's not many. There's not many screens, I think, in each level, but uh, it's pretty cool. It's kind of like an update, almost a remake, sort of, with the new ca characters. I don't know if they added any new levels, but wow, it's like super, super hard still. Super. Wow. But if you've never played this game on Super Nintendo, it's actually really hard to get to an actual cartridge. Um, hey, the game is now on Steam, and I think uh, it's probably dirt cheap. Yeah. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's it's you don't see games really like this so much anymore. In the '80s, sort of early '90s, you saw like games where you're behind the character and you're shooting, and you can aim your cursor at where you want to shoot on the screen. And especially like Western games, there's like Red Dead Redemption, and you know Red Dead Red Dead Redemption Online is coming, but like really you don't see many Western titles. Um, in general. Yeah, the only other game I could think of is uh, Sunset Riders and Gun. There's another one I saw coming out soon, or it just came out on Steam, but like it's a top down. You see a lot of top downs, but this is behind the character. It's a lot like if you really know your games, like the G.I. Joe arcade game and um, not Akari Warriors, but some other games like in that sort of genre. But this one's really hard. Um, we tried, gave it a few shots, but uh, we couldn't get past uh, yeah, the first stage even. And there's like four to six stages, I think. But yeah, the graphics are still good. If you like retro graphics, then you'll probably like this. It, we it should probably specify uh, graphics in the Super Nintendo Sega Genesis. Yeah, 16-bit. Like, if you don't like 16-bit graphics, but I know there's a huge, um, you know, um, not revisiting, but a lot of games sort of look like that, the RPGs. Yeah, you'll and probably like I this. think I think when we, like 10 years in the future, or even five years, we're gonna have like a callback to the polygon graphics of the 64-bit era. Or PS1 or PS2. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is a cool game. It's really hard, even with two players playing at once. Like, you have to pretty much match the game. Um, but it's fun if you like your real games really hard. So, I, and you like westerns, which are really hard to find too. Yeah, so if you want, so if Sekiro isn't your uh, thing, maybe give this a shot. Yeah, if you suddenly want to switch over to shooter games. Uh, yeah, the main thing is the difficulty, you can't adjust it, so if you don't like games that are really hard, or at least moderately hard, you'll probably want to stay clear of this game. Uh, graphics, I'd say they're pretty decent for the era that they're trying to emulate. Um, explosions are big, sounds are cool, it's exciting. Um, I think it's like 10 bucks, I'm not sure of the price, but yeah. If you love your retro shooters, then you'll probably love this, because it's kind of like a, a third person, like metal, metal, um, slug. A, metal slug, I was going to call it Metal Gear. Nah. Yeah. Not Metal Gear. This plays more like that G.I. Joe game we played back then. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a few games in that design, but you don't see them very often. So, yeah. It's, I give it a thumbs up. I'd give it at least a 7 out of 10. I give it's really seven. hard, which is, to me, like, I find it kind of discouraging games that are, like, this hard. It's really, uh... But, like, you can... It doesn't really mean, like... Oh, just because the game's hard doesn't mean it sucks. Yeah, it doesn't suck. It's just, I mean, if you if you don't like your games that hard, you don't want to, like, practice for hours on end, then you'll probably want to avoid this because, uh, yeah, it's pretty tricky. Like, we discourage the idea of, like, criticizing someone for... A lack not, of progression. ...for not liking a difficult game or vice versa. So, really... Don't uh, don't be that guy and go. You've only cheated yourself by making this game easy. Mm -hmm. But personally, for me, I give this an eight out of ten because this game is fun. I like playing some of the characters. Mm -hmm. My personal favorite is the dog, although mm -hmm. he's a little confusing at first. Yeah, he has like a pretty cool way of shooting. I feel like this is a game that you have to like replay each level 
kind of like uh, not Neo Contra, but Contra Shadow Soldier. Like you have to know each level almost perfectly. In Shadow Soldier, you you had to to progress. And for me, that's not my cup of tea. But some people would definitely like it. So. Yeah. But yeah, I think one thing that could definitely improve this was like the if how to put in the number of lives. Yeah, that's what I feel like. There should have been a better like live system and you can change the difficulty because I think some people will get discouraged, possibly like myself, and, and it's like, okay, I might just play another game I own instead because... Yeah, and well, there is a difficulty meter in a single player, there's not in multiplayer. Yeah, that's really weird. I don't understand why that is, but... All right, well... Well, I'm done. Let's ride off into the sunset. All right, like a sunset rider. Keep on gaming.